Hi guys, uh, today I want to uh, talk about the subject of comparing ourselves with others, right? This is one that I really have to work on uh, for myself all the time, I have to constantly work on that. Um, you know, I heard a quote a while back uh, that when you compare, it leads to despair. And man, ain't that the truth, you know? There's always going to be somebody who's uh, more fit than me or less fit than me, heavier than me and thinner than me. You know, somebody's going to have more money than me. Somebody's going to have less money than they, me. You know, the list goes on. I mean, as much as it pains me to say, there's people that are going to be way funnier than me too. It's like, what? Come on now. Anyway, but, um, you know, this is just what makes us different from each other. It doesn't make us better than each other, you know? So it's also important to remember, rather than focusing and comparing with others, just focus on our own goals, right? Don't worry about their goals, right? That's their business. Mind your own, mind your own beeswax and um, focus on your own goals. Um, you know, also your progress, like our progress is going to be different. Each of our progress will be different. Um, you know, so maybe you came into this challenge wanting to fit into those jeans, right? Your favorite jeans and you can, so you're like, yes, that's awesome. Right. But then you see Betty over there and now she's got a six pack and you're like, oh man, I want abs. And it's like, but wait, you know, you, you came into this wanting to fit in your jeans. That was your goal. That was great. So you achieved it. So your goal was not to have those abs. Those were Betty's goals. So the cool thing is, is that maybe you can go for that next time. Uh, no problem. Right. But, um, celebrate Betty. Yay, Betty for getting her abs, but also celebrate, you know, yourself. Super important. Um, because somebody is wishing they had made the progress you made. Right. So it's a big deal. Um, so this is also why we are so, we recommend so highly to take before and after pictures and measure yourself because sometimes that number on the scale doesn't show the whole picture, right? So you want to do that so you can see, compare with yourself, compare your before and your after, right? It's a work in progress, friends. Um, you know, the same thing goes with body types. You know, there's different body types out there. Um, <clears throat> so work on making yours the best. If there's somebody out there whose fitness level you admire, great, you know, go for that. But you know, everybody has their own body types and you know, we're not trying to be somebody else. We're trying to improve ourselves. Um, so the other big one for me is, uh, you know, try not to compare what others are eating to what you're eating. Right. Um, unless again, if they have something that you want and I don't mean like what's on their plate, I mean, what they've got going on, then yeah, pay attention to what they're eating and, you know, do what they do, you know, follow what they do. Um, you know, years ago I used to think, you know, I worked at this place and everybody there was, would eat sandwiches and chips and fast food and, you know, just not eat healthy. And I'd be like, oh man, everybody else gets to have that. Now this was way before Herbalife. So I was trying to figure it all out on my own and dieting and going hungry a lot. So, um, I was like, ah, oh, man, they get to eat anything they want. But then like I took a step back and looked at them not to be mean, but not one of them had what I wanted physically. So I was like, okay, so keep that in mind. You know, for instance, over 70% of people want to lose weight here in this country. And you know, so if everybody wants to lose weight and everybody's eating like that. What does that tell you? Right? So maybe it's not such a good idea to compare what they're eating, you know, follow someone who has what you want, right? Um, stick to your goals, 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 goals. Um, lastly, you know, we can take it the other way and compare ourselves with others as far as like, Oh, it's easy for them to lose weight or easy for them to, um, you know, stick to their meal plan. Um, like for instance, let's take Mary Gowdy and Randy Keller, right? They're both super fit and look amazing, right? Uh, it doesn't mean it's any easier for Mary to resist that jelly donut or for Randy to resist that cake, right? And I'm not saying we coaches don't like sometimes have our favorites. We do, of course. Um, but we're, they're super focused on their goals, right? So that's what helps them say, no, thank you, right? They want it just as bad as anybody else. They just want their goals more, right? So, um, and that goes for all the coaches, you know, that we, we are real people, you know, we're doing this because we were dissatisfied before, right? 
And, um, you know, we're no different than you guys. It's just now we've got a few more tools in our belt and a little more time doing this. So what we want to share with you in these challenges is how to, to equip you with those tools as well. All right, you guys, no comparing. Thank you.